Hello, myself Dr. Vijay D. Kalyani, working as Associate Professor in the Department of Computer Science and Engineering of Institute of Aeronautical Engineering. In this video, I will discuss problems related to the concept resistor transfer and micro operations. The first problem statement is show the block diagram of the hardware that implements the following resistor transfer statement. Y T2 colon R, R1 transfer to R2, R2 transfer to R1. So, this represents the control function. In the RTL, the control function is a Boolean variable. So, here when the Boolean variable can have the value 1, then the transfer between the resistor can be taken place. So, how the clock diagram for this transfer can be constructed. So, here two resistors R1, R2 when Y, T2. So, the indicate Y value 1, T2 is 1. The indicate can result in the 1 value. When these happen, then the clock can has to be raised so that the n bits can has to be traversed between the R1 resistor to R2, R2 to R1. So, this is the, the transfer of n bits from R1 to R2. So, and from R2 to R1. So, when Y, T2, that condition is satisfied, then only during that clock pulse, the uh, transfer between the two resistors can be taken simultaneously. Next problem statement is the output of four resistors R0, R1, R2 and R3 are connected to 4 to 1 line multiplexers to the inputs of fifth resistor R5. So, each resistor is 8 bits long. The required transfers are directed by 4 timing variables T0 to T3. T0 can use it to transfer R0 to R5. T1 is R1 to R5. T2 is R2 to R5. T3 is R3 to R5. The timing variables are mutually exclusive. Which means that only one variable is equal to 1 at a time. While the other 3 are equal to 0. So, these are the conditions. So, here 4 resistors R0 to R3 and they has to be connected to 4 to 1 multiplexer and the input is of 5th resistor R5 and 8 bit long this resistor and 4 timing control lines T0 to T3 and these timing lines are mutually exclusive. So, draw a block diagram showing the hardware implementation of the resistor transfer. Include the connections necessary from the four timing variables to the selection inputs of the multiplexers and to the load input of the resistor R5. How these transfers can be taken place? Draw that circuit diagram. So, here four resistors R0 to R3, each of 8 bits each. And these resistors can be connected to a multiplexer, 4 by 1 multiplexer. So, to select these lines, the timing signals are T0 to T3 can be used. And a input resistor R5 can be used. So, these selection lines can be used to select the one particular resistor from the four resistors. So, two selection lines S0 and S1 can be required to select the required resistor. 
and during at a particular time the timing signals can be mutual exclusive if they are at a particular time t not e is 1 then only the r not resistor can be used for the transfer with the input resistor r5 so this is the circuit diagram for the given conditions and the truth table for the given conditions can be like this next problem statement is represent statements the following conditional control statement by two resistor transfer statements with control function so this is the control statement so if p is equal to 1 then only the r2 content can be transmitted uh, transferred to r1 else if q is equal to 1 then r3 content can be transmitted to r1 so these control function can be represented using rtl so p colon r2 to r1 when p has a value 1 then only the content of r2 can be transferred to r1 okay if p is equal to 1 then r2 to r1 the transfer can be applied else that means p complement q has a one value q is equal to 1 and p is 0 okay then r3 to r1 the transfer can be take place here the two conditions that can be checked are else that means p is having a value 0 and q is having a value 1 so this is p complement q then only r3 value can be transferred to the resistor r1 next problem statement is what has to be done to the bus system of figure 1 to be able to transfer information from any resistor to any other resistor specifically show the connections that must be included to provide a path from the outputs of resistor c to the inputs of resistor a so this is a bus system for the four resistors so four resistors that are involved in the transfer are resistor a b c d each resistor is of four bits capacity and they involve four multiplexers each multiplexer is a 4 by 1 multiplexer a not of resistor b not c not d not of four resistor can be connected to the mux not the one bit of four resistors can be connected to mux one which multiplexer and which resistor involve the transfer can be determined by the two selection inputs s not and s one So connect the four line common bus to the four inputs of each resistor. Provide a load control input to each resistor. Provide a clock input for each resistor. To transfer from resistor C to resistor A, apply S1, S0 as 10. Why? Because the selection lines 00 means A resistor, 01 means B resistor, 10 means C resistor. So apply S1, S0 is 10 to select the C resistor. Enable the load input to A. Apply the clock pulse so that the resistor C content to resistor A content transfer can be take place. Next problem statement. Draw a diagram of a bus system similar to the one shown in the figure 1 but use three state buffers and a decoder instead of the multiplexers. So here used the common bus system instead of multiplexers use three state buffers for the transfer for that produce the diagram. 
So this is the solution for the problem. So here two resistors are used. You can give four resistors so that uh, the four resistor connections can be shown. So here for sample we consider two resistor, resistor A, resistor B. Each bit is connected with a three state buffer. And is connected to a common line bus. To activate these two resistors, 2 by 4 decoder can be used. And to select the resistor between resistors, S1 and S0 is the selection lines. Next problem statement. A digital computer has a common bus system. For 16 resistors of 32 bits each. 16 resistors for 32 bits each. The bus is constructed with multiplexers. So here the bus connection is constructed with the multiplexer organization. How many selection inputs are there uh, each multiplexer? What is the size of multiplexers are needed? How many multiplexers are there in the bus? So, four selection lines are used to select one of the 16 resistors. So, 16 resistors are there. 2 power 4 is 16. So, four selection lines can be required to select the one of the 16 resistors. And these bus, the multiplexer can be have to receive 16 bits from each resistor. So, and it has to produce one output. So, it is of 16 by 1 mux. And 32 multiplexers can be required to transfer the 30, 32 bit. One for each bit of the resistor. Next problem statement. The following transfer statement specifies a memory. Explain the memory operation in each case. So here in the A, the address register pointer location from the memory can be point moved to the R2. Next R3 is moved to the location pointed by the memory address register. R5 content of the memory can be moved to the R5. So here reading a word specified by the address register AR into the R2. So this is the read operation. It is represented in RTL. Write content of R3 to the memory word specified by the address in the memory. Here, this is the memory transfer, so write operation can be performed. Read memory word specified by the address, address R5 and transfer content to the R5. So, this is the RTL notation. Next problem statement is, draw the block diagram for the hardware that implements the following statements. X plus Y Z colon is AR plus BR. The addition of AR BR can be transferred to AR resistor. So this is the control function. Where AR BR are the two n bit resistors and X, Y and Z are the control variables. Include the logic gates for the control function. So, to implement this control function, the logic gates can have to be implemented. Remember that the symbol plus indicates an R operation in the control or Boolean function, but that it represents an arithmetic plus in the micro operation. This is the Boolean function. This is the arithmetic micro operation. So, to represent this problem statement, construct the block diagram. So, three variables x, y, z. To represent the logic of this y, z, x plus y, z, we have to use this logic gets combination. 
So this is the X input. Y Z can be produced by the AND gate, and the R gate produced X plus Y Z. So this control function can be represented with these logic circuits. Next, the transfer of A R and B R, the sum of N bits can has to be moved to the A R register by applying the clock. When this value is one, the clock can has to be load B R N bits. And AR N bits both can be applied to the N bit adder. The sum can be moved to the AR register. So here AR is equal to AR plus BR operation can has to be done when this control function can have the value of one. So this is the black diagram. Next problem statement. Show the hardware that implements the following statement. Include the logic gates for the control function and a block diagram for the binary counter with a count enable input. So this is the input x y t naught plus t one y complement t two colon. This is the control function. If this value is one. Then only increment the AR register, store the AR register, uh, the result in the AR register. So for this, the hardware implementation can be constructed. So the input for this circuit is the X Y T naught. Three are applied to the AND gate. So here X Y T naught can be The output and Y complement can be applied here with T two to a AND gate. So here Y complement T two. So with along with T one here the count variable can be applied T one plus X Y T naught plus Y complement T two. So this is the control function. X Y T naught plus T one plus Y complement T two. This is the control function. If it all this boolean variable can has the value one during the clock a positive edge rising edge n bit binary counter can has to be activated. So this is the block diagram. Next problem statement. Consider the following register transfer statement for two four bit resistors R one and R two. So X T whenever there R one plus R two can be implemented and result is stored in R one. X complement T simply R two can be transmitted to R one. Every time that variable T is equal to one. Either the content of R two is added to the content of R one. When T is equal to one, the content of R two can be added to R one. If X is equal to one, or the content of R two is transferred to R one. This is the condition. If X is equal to zero, so draw a diagram showing the hardware implementation of two statements. Use block diagram for the two four bit resistor, four bit adder, and a quadrupole two to one line. So parallel line multiplexer that selects the input to R one. In the diagram show how the control variable section T select the input for multiplexer and load input of resistor R one. How these two condition statement can be implemented with the help of multiplexer. So this is the quad multiplexer, two by one multiplexer, and this is the four bit adder. And here the clock is uploaded, and this is the resistor R two. And here X T, and this is the E value extra bit that is produced in case of the sum operation. This is the E flip flop value. So here. 
whenever the t is 1 when the t is 1 r2 is when the t is 1 r2 is added to the r1 okay so this value this line can has to be given r1 value to the loader and this is the r2 here r1 plus r2 can has to be produced and in case of when s is equal to 1 simply the value of this resistor can has to be transferred so this is the plug diagram for satisfying the two conditions next problem statement using a 4 bit counter with parallel load and 4 bit adder draw a block diagram that shows how to implement the following statement two control functions can be given here x colon so that addition can has to be performed when x value is can be 1 x complement y simply the increment operation can be performed where r1 is a counter with parallel load and r2 is a 4 bit resistor for this the diagram can be constructed so here increment load clear and 4 bit adder so whenever x is uh, and y is 1 y can has to be used to perform y complement value to clear it so that the increment operation can be performed in case of x is equal to 1 the adder can be activated so that r1 value is added with the r2 content in case of y complement then the one value can has to be added to the uh, r1 content so this is the circuit diagram for the two control functions next problem statement the adder subtractor circuit has the following values for input mode m and data inputs a and b in each case determine the values of outputs s3 s2 s1 s0 and the c4 so whenever m is both 0 a and b values c d e when m value is equal to 1 so in case of adder subtractor circuit depending upon the m value whether the circuit is behaving like a adder or subtractor can be decided in case of m value 0 the circuit behaves like an adder in case of m value 1 it can be as a subtractor so this is the 4 bit adder subtractor so here it is the m control line in case of m is equal to 0 a is directly fed and b is directly fed and the sum can has to be performed with the full adder and these full adders can be connected in a cascaded fashion in case of m is equal to 1 the two's complement of second number can be added with the a not so that the subtraction can be performed so here the values that are equivalent so 7 plus 6 13 the sum can has to be performed when m value is 0 addition can be performed in case of m value 1 subtraction operation of the given input can be performed in the two's complement subtraction form design a four bit combinational circuit decrementer using four full adder circuits so here a minus 1 which can be calculated as a plus 2 2's complement of 1 so a plus 4 ones so here a value each bit can has to be added with a one value with the respective full adders so this is the circuit diagram of four bit decrementer next problem statement is assume that the four bit arithmetic circuit is enclosed in one ic package show the connections among two such ics to perform an 8 bit arithmetic circuit 
So here four bit arithmetic circuit and this is a four bit arithmetic circuit. So two selection lines are used to select the one arithmetic circuit, and each one receives a four bit from A resistor, four bit from B resistor, which can be applied for the arithmetic action. So whenever C in, depending upon the C not. The concerned operation can be applied in the input of A resistor and B resistor, and output can be moved to the D D resistor uh, with the help of two IC packages. Next problem statement: Design an arithmetic circuit with one selection variable S and two n bit data inputs A and B. The circuit generates the following four arithmetic operation in conjunction with the input carry C in. Draw the logic diagram for the first two stages. Two stages. S not S is zero. Then addition can be performed. And when C in is one, increment can be performed. When S is equal to one, decrement and subtraction can be performed. So this is like the multiplexer, and here the complement of B not B one can has to be given as one input to this for multiplexers. When C in is zero, C in is zero, S value is zero. A plus B can be performed. A value and B value can be added, and this can be stored with the D resistor. In case of C in is one. A plus one, that is increment operation, can be performed. This is the add operation. This is increment operation, depending upon this selection input and the C in. And one zero means this is the decrement operation. One one means subtraction operation. This is the block diagram. Next problem statement. Design a digital circuit that perform the four logic operations. So four logic operations are exclusive OR, exclusive NOR, NOR, and NAND. Use two selection variables to uh, select these four operations. Two selection variables are required. So design the circuit diagram. So here exclusive OR, exclusive NOR, NOR, and the NAND gate. So these are the four logic operations. To select these two selection lines can be required, and these are the uh, this is the four by one multiplexer to select one particular logic operation among these four operations. Next problem statement. Resistor A holds eight bit binary information. This is the content of A. Determine the B operand and the logic micro operation to be performed in order to change the value of A to the content can be changed with these two combinations. So here A B whenever A exclusive R then the operation can be performed like this. So that when odd number of ones are there, the output can be the one. In the second case, uh, the any uh, R operation can has to be applied so that the content can be changed. Next problem statement: The eight bit resistor A R B R C R D R initially have the following values. So four uh, combinations of values can have to be stored in the four eight bit resistors. Determine the eight bit values in each resistor after the execution of the following sequence. When A R plus B R can be applied, when uh, and operation between C R D R and B R can be incremented, and subtract operation from C R and A R can be performed. The content of the resistor can be like this. So during the first operation, addition operation zero one one, 
वन वन जीरो विद ए कैरी वन लाइक दैट द एडिशन ऑपरेशन कैन बी परफॉर्म दिस इज द कंटेंट ऑफ ए आर सी आर एंड टी आर रेजिस्टर्स नेक्स्ट द लॉजिकल अंड ऑपरेशन बिटवीन सी आर एंड डी आर कैन बी परफॉर्म सो जीरो वन इंटू जीरो जीरो वेन बोथ वन द आउटपुट कैन बी द वन एंड बी आर कैन बी इंक्रीमेंटेड बाय वन एंड इन द थर्ड केस the subtraction operation can be performed so here this is the subtraction operation so that the binary values can be modified in all the respective resistors next problem statement an 8 bit resistor contains the binary value this is the binary value what is the resistor value after an arithmetic shift right so shr micro operation whenever performing on this binary value what is the value start from the initial number 1011100 determine resistor value after an arithmetic shift left and state whether there is an overflow or not so this is the r value when performed the arithmetic shift right one position bit position can has to be moved to the right so that each can has to be overflow one bit move to right side one bit each one so this is moving in this direction each bit and the last one can has to be discarded uh, so arithmetic shift left means here we have to move in this direction each one bit replaced overflow because a negative number change to positive number here if you observe the sign bit here the sign bit can has the value 1 which indicates that it is a negative number when after shift left the sign bit value can be the 0 which indicates it is a positive number so that the overflow can be occurred next problem statement starting from an initial value of r is equal to the binary value determine the sequence of binary values in r after a logical shift left followed by a circular shift right followed by a logical shift right and a circular shift left so these operations can be performed on this binary value so this is the r value so logical shift left so each one can has to be moved to the left side next circular shift shift right means this left bit can has to be added to the lsb next logical shift right value can be like this circular shift left can be the value with this like this and the the problems that are taken from the reference textbook computer system architecture by morris men Thank you. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.